If you're looking for the perfect cocktail to celebrate National Espresso Martini Day, look no further. Amy is really I'm excited. excited. Mixologist <laughs> Stefan Karpinski of Mr. Yep. Black Spirits is here to show us how to make a delicious but easy at home espresso martini. And we kind of have one already here Ooh. for you. I'll I let you already do the guest. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm so honored. <laughs> I did the classic the... like Food Network yes. thing, you know, like, it's already in the oven. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Absolutely. Oh gosh, the foam, it's the gorgeous. Foam. Iconic cocktail, right? It just looks mm -hmm. gorgeous. It is. What is the history of the espresso martini because it's sure. one of my favorites. Yeah, well, it predates all of those really kind of sweet, you know, martini mm. uh, yeah. cocktails by about 10 years. Yeah. Uh, Dick Bradsell, a bartender in London in the 80s, Ooh. came up with this cocktail. As Ooh. the story goes, a, uh, a famous supermodel came in and asked for a drink that would Ooh. wake her up. You know, he took it to his grave, actually. <laughs> He's a consummate gentleman. He, uh, he never really did say who Aww. it was. We have some ideas out there in the world, but mm. um, nobody has really come to light. Okay. But either way, it did wake her up, and it became an iconic drink around the world. And oh. my biggest problem with it is that the ones I've had in the past, it's too sweet, and I'm not a super right. sweet person. Right. So well, then I think you really enjoy okay. this one. Yeah. Uh, we make it with Mr. Black. Okay. Uh, that's who I work for. Yeah. But it's a beautiful coffee liqueur from Sydney, Australia, using 100% Arabica coffee, um, a little bit of water, sugar, a touch of sugar, and some vodka. So it's really mm. just four simple ingredients. It does what it says on the bottle. Fantastic. Yeah. You want to make me one? I think we should make okay, you yeah. one, yeah. So make one this is a pretty easy recipe. I think it's pretty easy to recreate at home. Um, mm -hmm. If you don't have espresso, if you don't have an espresso machine at home, I highly suggest some cold brew concentrate. You can get this at your local coffee shop. Yes. Or you can get it at your local grocery store as well. Okay, that's great, because sometimes I just don't want it. We do have an espresso machine, but I don't mm -hmm. want to bust it out and I'm lazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so one part of either espresso or cold brew concentrate, I'm using a fancy jigger. You could use a shot glass at home, whatever you might have. Okay. We'll do one part of uh, your favorite vodka, or any other base spirit really works, but this is more the original recipe. Oh, you Ooh. can mix different spirits in there? Sure. I mean, yeah. I guess you can do anything, but do they taste right. good? <laughs> oh, yeah. I really enjoy cognac in this rest of martinis. Ooh. I think that adds a nice richness and complexity to it. Oh. Rum, mezcal, if you like agave spirits, works great. The El Jefe. And we'll do two parts of Mr. Black okay. Cool Brew Liqueur. Tell us a little bit about Mr. Black. Is this like the only sure. product? Or this is all we do. We're coffee okay. roasters and distillers from Sydney, Australia. And we do everything from ethically sourcing and roasting uh, and brewing our own coffee okay. to distilling a beautiful vodka, adding those together and adding a touch of cane sugar. So you focus wow. on one thing and you do it really well. That's right. That's usually okay. the yeah. best way to go, right? Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, there's a lot of other brands that'll do 100 things and they do them okay. Yeah. We do one thing extremely well. Okay, yeah. you have an orange here too. I do, yeah. We can, you know, we can make another drink with that or I can show oh, you okay. some other. Oh, okay. I was like, are you putting orange? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the biggest, you know, to get a successful espresso martini, okay. you're going to need to shake extra hard. Okay, yes. So I'm going to seal this tin. I'm going to start shaking it. Okay, and I'm going to hand it over to you if that's all right. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. A little She's got good arms. She's known for these arms. Okay, very okay. nice. So you can use a, a fancy <laughs> cocktail shaker, or you can also use a mason jar at home. That oh, works that's great. a great Anything idea. with a lid on it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought about that. The mason jar is a good yeah. idea, okay. especially for a yeah, beginner. Yeah. Amy used to bartend, so she knows how to yeah. do this. It's been a few years, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, this is the best espresso martini, if you can hear me above Amy's shaking, right, right. that what? I've ever had because it is not too sweet. Because usually it's very sugary yeah. and syrupy sure. and just, yeah. Yeah, usually you can only drink one. So right. you strain this right <laughs> into a cocktail glass. Oh, you strain it too. I like to strain it to keep all those little ice chips out. That's an added little bonus. Ah. If you have a, a kitchen strainer at home, that works great. Okay. But that is the espresso martini. The classic garnish is three coffee beans. Yes. Well, you know, Amy and I have discussed this before about the little bits of ice. Some mixologists do not like any little bits of ice in a martini. Yes. Some do. Right. So right. you're the, there shouldn't be any ice Well, in an there. espresso martini, I want to really create that beautiful separation between okay. the foam and the cocktail. And adding any additional dilution is mm. going to mm. interrupt that. Mm. Um, but on like a, you know, classic, you know, really dirty martini. Yeah. Yeah, a couple ducks on the pond, as they call it, is a great idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. ducks oh, on the pond. Yeah. All right, so we only have about 90 seconds yeah, left, but I know sure. you have one more drink tonight. I have another drink. It's okay. very simple. It's equal parts, roughly, of Mr. Black okay. and whiskey. We're going to use this uh, rye whiskey own, right here. My own heart, just pour. Yeah, right? Just pour. We, yeah. don't, we only have 90 seconds, you know? So yeah. roughly, you know, I don't, I don't ever tell anybody how to make cocktails in their own home, right? Because yes, you get to do true. what you want. And bitters. A couple dashes of orange bitters. This is a classic, it's a play on a, cla uh, like a modern classic cocktail, the revolver, but we like to call it the cold brew uh, old fashioned or the ah, cold fashioned. Uh, hence the orange. Right, yeah, a couple dashes of orange bitters, a little bit of ice. You can stir Ooh. this thing if you have more than 90 seconds. Just a little bit of an orange peel in there. Mm. Maybe a quick stir. 
and boom, we have the cold brew. And because it has a little bit of the sweet already in the... Right. Right. The, you don't have Mr. to Mr. Black Coffee Liqueur is adding not just a little bit of sweetness, but also some complexity through some roasty bitterness. Mm -hmm. That kind of creates a really balanced, well, not I, super boozy, but still really, you know... And you can taste that, that citrus in there? Ooh, yeah, oh, I have some roasty bitterness in my heart, so this <laughs> is perfect for me, actually. Well, roasting, uh, mixing with coffee should be fun, and it, it can be really, you know, you can really do whatever you want with coffee. It's a, oh. it's a great ingredient. I would say it's a lot more versatile than I thought it was. Yeah. Do you guys have more... Recipe oh, absolutely. Page. You can go to mm. our YouTube channel that we launched during COVID, which is great. Oh, fun. Okay. <laughs> um, where you'll see me talking in front of a camera and uh, creating some really great recipes. Also, our website, you can go, um, if you want to buy Mr. Black locally, Benny's uh, has us you know, in stock yes. at all the locations. You can go to shopmrblack.co as well Perfect. for more yep. recipes. And right there on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much for being here. Hey, yeah. cheers, y'all. Thanks for having me. I like